All right, number 67. This is where we get to use the Nernst equation. So we've got our two reactions here. Potential of 0 0.80 volts at H2O2 plus 2H plus plus 2 electrons and 2H2O and the potential of that is 1.78 so that means we're going to have to flip the top reaction and in order to balance this out I'm going to have to multiply this one by 2 because we have to be transferring the same number of electrons, okay? So I'm going to add this up to just get me a total reaction here. So the Nernst equation is the new cell potential is equal to the standard cell potential minus 0 0.0591 over n times the log of q. So the standard cell potential is one atmosphere and one mole. We add that up, so we have to flip the sign up there. So our cell potential is... Point nine eight volts. Okay. Now, how many electrons are being transferred in this problem? Well, two. That's why we have to balance it. Okay. So the only the thing left is to find the log of Q. So remember that Q is the products over the reactants raised to their power, but we only include um, aqueous things. Now, solids and liquids are not included, and the reason why solids and liquids aren't included is because their densities more or less are constant. Obviously, if you, um, I, uh, I should say their concentrations are their densities, and their densities are more or less constant. So they get absorbed into um, the uh, equation. Now, obviously, when you heat a solid, its density slightly changes. Same thing with a liquid, but it changes so very little that it's, it's not important. But things that are aqueous, you can definitely change their concentrations. So products over reactants. So that's going to be silver ions raised to the second power over hydrogen peroxide raised to the first power hydrogen ions raised to the second power. So the solid silver doesn't enter in and the liquid water doesn't enter in. You probably noticed that I sidestepped the question about what about a gas? A gas could be produced in some of these reactions. Um, that's actually fourth year um, chemistry in college. So we are not going, if you'll notice all the homework problems in the book, um, only aqueous things are produced and the other species are only solids or liquids. Because obviously a gas, um, the density of a gas, therefore the concentration of a gas, can, can vary greatly depending upon the temperature and the pressure. So um, that's a uh, fourth year chemistry problem in college. So the problem tells us that the concentration of the silver ions is one molar and the concentration of the hydrogen peroxide is 2 molar and the concentration of the hydrogen ions is 2 molar. So 
So then our equation will be and that will give us an answer of One point zero one volts. Okay. B. What happens when we change the concentration? So that's the answer to letter A. For B, now our concentrations have changed. Where we've got two molar for the silver ions. We've got one molar, one molar, and so um, when you take the log of a number less than one, it's a negative number, and so a negative times a negative will give you a positive, and therefore it'll increase the voltage. Here we're going to take the log of Four. When you take the log of a number greater than one, you end up with a positive number, and therefore you're going to end up reducing your potential. So people sometimes think by increasing the concentration you always increase the potential. That's not the case. Okay. So we increased the concentration of the um, silver ions and it actually reduced our potential to Oops, this is supposed to be a 2 there. Point nine six two volts.